Greetings everyone and welcome to Collector Corpse. I'm going to be looking, reacting, just kind of in, just watching basically the Funko, um, I guess Funcon is what they're calling it. It's basically Funko's replacement for the San Diego Comic Con um, event and uh, yeah, let's just get into it. Fun TV, very cool. I'm not huge generally on Funko, by the way. Um, it's something that I own a number of. Oh, got some pro types there. That's cool. And uh, oh, yeah, it's we go. one of those things. Very first Brian Mariotti Funko Pop off the production line. Who's Brian Mariotti? This thing cost me a pretty penny, but it's worth it. Um. Okay, Raymond, okay then. Hey boy, I won't be able to get you your favorite treats this month. Oh. But it'll be <laughs> worth it. You'll see. I gotta leave for a second, but I'm gonna turn the TV on, okay? These meerkat pups. Here, I'll leave you. Oh, we can meerkat. That's cute. You can change the. Oh, the dog as well. The dog's nice. <laughs> See ya. They still have a lot to learn about desert survival. <laughs> Why are we just randomly watching like knockoff uh, Nat Geo? And this is the pavilion of the fourth dimension. Time. Um. And now, that had a huge IGN logo in the bottom right corner. Like, <laughs> okay, cool. Today's first contestant, our returning champion, the Titan of the Tilt -a World, so uh, Gator Johnson. That's right, I'm the champion. Okay, so this is very much just your archetypal, like, um, uh, I forget what the what the term is, but you know, you're uh lives in a trailer park sort of deal. Um I'm trying to think what the actual uh, like hillbilly type, I guess. You know, that Texan Texan stereotype, whatever. Okay. I like how the uh the R is backwards. That's a bit I cheer, fun. Champagne. <laughs> Contestant number two from Heidelberg, Germany, tennis sensation, Franz Wolf. And I love the stock footage of the audience, that's great. Um, so we've got a German tennis player and a hillbilly. Great, cool. Contestant number three. Wait, folks, I just received word. Looks like we have a mystery contestant to be announced soon. Stay tuned. Your co host. Surely they, surely they would. What? <laughs> yeah, whatever. I'm not, I'm not going to question the the setup. It, it, it's not the major part, is it? Okay, so they're going to have. I guess questions on pop soda, pop anime, pop superheroes, and then uh, I guess just other pop stuff with pop, uh, potpourri, potpourri. Okay, cool. Uh, this is giving me like how, there's so many game shows that are like this. Um, just just I don't know. I was gonna give examples, but like no, it's, it just it's everything, isn't it? Just a pop quiz. The beautiful Bianca Lafleur. And now, as always, your host of Pop Quiz, Brian Martindale. Thank you. Who? Thank you. Oh, look Thank at the dog. Oh, the um, does the dog does the dog not like him? Is it? He's like. Oh, is the pop of him? Is it a pop of that guy of of Martin? Because the dog's growling. The, the dog is growling at him. Our beautiful co-host, Bianca, big round of applause. This amazing audience, thank you. I love the stock footage, that's, that's, so, that's so, as someone who's like, had to use stock footage for stuff before, um, I, I, I love, I love seeing this kind of stuff, it just, because it stands out so heavily. Thank you, thank you. And welcome back everybody watching at home to the latest episode of Pop Quiz. Let's meet our contestants. Earl, gotcha. I mean Gator. You're our return. <laughs> Did he just dead name Gator? How dare he? How very dare he? Returning champ. And you are the self-proclaimed king of the carnies. You also somehow were able to piece together a win last week out of thin air. What? <laughs> anyway. Are they like dissing him? Are they calling him dumb you like? Guy, you know, sometimes in life, brah, <laughs> you gotta grab that. Why is he talking like a surfer, dude? Let her buck till you're out of luck. <laughs> Donkey? But, oh, uh, whatever. He's, he, he's okay. an idiot. Okay, cool. Good to know. Well, that sounds like some real words of wisdom we can all live by. 
Contestant two, French. <laughs> we all know you're a tennis superstar winning Wimbledon in 87, the French Open and Australia Open in 1988. Tell us what you're up to these days. Well, Brian, I opened up the Franz Wolf. Oh, waffle God. Oven. We have a variety of breakfast fare, you know. The Wimbledon waffle, mm -hmm. Australian omelette, mm -hmm. even the French brunch for lunch. <laughs> Very popular. Oh, sounds like you're one Grand Slam major short. What? That US Open, that's not even a real tournament. Jets flying around, what? crowd yelling what? like a bunch like, of idiots. Whoa, I'd, easy there, Franz. I, I don't Would know. Would you like to some more? Or just call it this feels like it's almost insulting okay, well, how bad that that like accent is, <laughs> how bad that impression is. Let's bring out contestant number three, Gator's younger brother, Slater Johnson. What? What is he um, doing here? Okay, cool. Oh, we've got, we got a little, like, storyline. Great job, Slater. F's and D's. <laughs> and A's. In wow, first okay. Place, Slater Johnson. What is Anthony happening? Cognizant. Correct. Our new spelling bee champion, Slater. 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 What kind of name is Slater? Slater. <laughs> Says here you studied at Oxford, Harvard, and Yale. Doubt. Both six Big degrees, doubt on that including one. Including game show trivia, superhero history, and recently written a novel called Anime My Way. Wow, that's quite uh, a pedigree. <laughs> Hello, Brian. What? And thank you for the warm welcome. Although this seems like a rather rudimentary contest, I shall enjoy winning it. Okay then, are you ready to play? I can't Bob tell. Are they, are they all the same person? For today are it's hard to tell. I, 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 I'm, I'm really not world. sure. Superhero history. And potpourri. What? What's, Gator, what does potpourri mean? What? What? what do, I guess if we want to follow protocol. Well, potpourri is something that you sniff to, like, I, I, that, because, I don't know. It smells nice. I don't know. Has been good to me, Bruh. So let's go with Why is potpourri it? for one hundred. Name this multi-eyed crime lord from Dungeons and Dragons. This crime lord to D and D. Slater. I haven't played Santa D and D in a long time. Brian. Correct. Xanathar. Okay. Oh, that, that's cool. It's like a, it's like a, uh... Like a, uh behold this beholder. Huh. Slater? It's kind of like a, uh... Oh, go with what's the snake head lady? Medusa. It's kind of like a Medusa. What silent superpower ninja is a member of the Seven in the TV series... Oh, it's Lord. him that's like a Deadpool Franz. archetype. That would be... Dion Bog. Mm. What? Nope. Gator. Oh, why have they made the sportsman? Jeff I guess. I'm about to say why have they made the sportsman Beverly dumb, Hillbillies. but I'm not. Slater. That would be Black Noir, Brian. Oh, of course, That's yeah. Right. I have watched um New from Funko. I have Black watched Noir. The Boys. I, I really enjoy the it. Original series, the Boys. A mystery behind the mask. Back to doesn't you, he Brian. doesn't he essentially just look Slater. like Deadpool? You control. I control the board. I know. I will take wow. Okay then. For two hundred. This cosmic entity first appeared in Fantastic Four. Oh, that's uh, Galactus. Gator. Casper, the friendly ghost. Mm. Wrong. Okay then. France. So this is uh, going I'm to be. So this is going to be just nonsense. Slater. Then. Galactus, Brian. One must be cognizant. The devourer of worlds. To be aware of which cosmic entity one is referencing. That's oh, wow. I hate them all. I hate all of these, uh, all of these uh, contestants. Diecast Captain America. Wait, wait. Diecast. So it's like, is it like a full-size metal uh, Funko Pop? That's pretty cool. That's a neat idea. Um, got blade. Couple. I like Couple. Isn't that wasn't there a custom going around with uh, with that design? I I don't, I don't know who who was made it. I've I've seen pictures there of some. It weren't like this. It was it was actually better. Um, <laughs> quite honestly, I mean, I swear someone did a custom of this for the uh for you know for Galactus. Are the is Fun is Funko stealing ideas again? Tut tut Funko tut tut.
Okay, folks, before we go any further, let's take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. This com commercial breaks? Where is this going to be? Like another pop advert or something? What's happening? You know, I haven't seen you in 20 years and you just decided to pop up here on Pop Quiz. You couldn't handle the fact that I'm Is Franz going to like think that? Once, could you? I am here upon request, not of my own volition. I mean, you'd still you have a choice for it. With your fancy words, not once did you come and see me at Oh, wow, you can see the green. Maybe because I didn't have the urge for a caramel apple. What is all the shouting? Control you can the see shouting. the reflection of the green screen. It kind of annoys me. Yet, brother. This is just uh, because it just means the color, the uh, lighting wasn't done very well. <laughs> hmm. Hey everyone, I'm Andrew, and I'm Ooh, Transformers? here at Funko. Now, as a '90s kid, I love both GI Joe and Transformers. I couldn't tell. Oh, we're getting GI Joe as well. Well, a new GI Joe. I know we've got both have very big ranges. I had to go and become an Autobot myself. <laughs> anyway, it's also why I'm really excited that we've got two new figures as part of Funcon this year. We've oh, two new GI Joe, Cobra, Battle Android Trooper. Oh, okay. Transformers Shock Shockwave. Oh, I like anyway, Shockwave. I hope you enjoyed that first look. Can't wait. Is that whole gang? We're just getting those pieces for like half a second. Until then, take care, everyone. Shockwave looks good. Arnold. Oh, I'm an artist here at Funko. Is that? And wait, what? Is that? Uh... Funko is the Attack Online. I love the yeah, it's a Freddo, isn't it? that we do. No, one of no, my it's not Freddo. Is Sugar Smacks. Remember Diggum? Did you know that? No, I don't. What earth is this? Another mascot before Diggum for Sugar Smacks. It just looks like Diggum Freddo the Frog. The seal, and he's our oh, that's cool. Our ad icon line, available only on the Sugar Funko Smacks. Line. Never heard those. Smacks Must be an American thing. Back. We hope you enjoy it. Cool. Welcome back to Pop Quiz. Okay, so far it's a runaway game. Slater, you're still in control. I'm finding this contest to be quite exhilarating. Oh, I Brian. hate you. <laughs> Superhero history for 300. Oh, plus prize it's playoff. Plus prize payoff. This assassin debuted in the DC comic The New Teen Titans. Oh, Deathstroke. Two. Gator. Zach Morse. Who? Franz. Andre Agassi. Who? Nope. Sorry. I'm like, do you have to be American to understand these references? Is there anything that isn't so, well, elementary? As part of the plus prize elementary, my dear Watson. Oh, is the is the uh, the, uh, the samurai inspired style? Yeah. Uh, I like Saga. Saga looks good. Doctor Fate. And Fate's good as well. It's a scythe. Scoot. How do you say this word? It's a scythe. The Yankee. Slater, what a surprise. Quite a sickle. If you it's such an issue to call it a scythe, call it a sickle. Noticed, we have reached the conclusion of that particular category. Oh, Brian. really now? Let's move on to soda for 100, please. What 1970s circus themed breakfast cereal? Circus feet. Yeah, this way it's all just Americanisms. Slater. Like, I have no clue on what any of this nuts. is. Bronze. That would be Mac. In rose. What? Wrong category, Franz. Looks like you're on the wrong court. Gator, want to give this one a shot? Uh, or is this is this is dreadful. Blowing your mind. Yeah, it is. It's like my my whole brain is just going kaboom. Correct. Funko is proud to introduce the kaboom um, soda figure. Okay, so a, a clown. Cool. Bears, elephants, and stars. Now that's a tasty. I like the colors. Look, it looks cool. I just Gator. it means nothing to me because I don't know what kaboom well, cereal is. I'll try soda I'll for two hundred there. Soda. This Avenger, worshipped by Vikings, four. became part of four. Norse yeah, it's four. Okay. Gator. I feel like that's the wrong right way around here, though. Bro. Oh wow, he has a little uh, meal there. <laughs> He has a mule near Tassie. Yeah. Okay. Gator's cool, back, cool. Baby. Like Gator's it. Back. You got that right. 
Check out this new oh, it's actually a black Blacklight. The, uh, the chase. That's cool. I just kind of like that one. I'm not huge on the soda ones, but, like, that looks pretty cool. Not cool enough for me to care, but cool, still. Like, soda is very hit or miss, in my opinion. Like, plus prize payoff. This is a weird show. Uh, Prince Adam. So, are, are we getting a, uh... Everybody knows that's that sweet one, Prince Adam. Is that sweet one? Yes. Oh. For this plus prize payoff, oh, I hate it. <laughs> will receive all of the latest soda releases from. Okay, so, um, so there's that kaboom cereal for Prince Adam. I'm not recognizing the blue character though. He does look like he's also from uh, He-Man: The Master of the Universe. I'm I'm not someone who's well versed with it. I'm versed with some of the figures. Uh, some of the main line from the original series, and then some of the, uh, is it Masterverse, the current line? Uh, but I'm not too familiar with it. And then, obviously, uh, classic Harley Quinn. Very cool. I actually kind of like the Harley Quinn. The four, I'm really, I, I might have to get one. I, I don't own any of the, um, any of the pop sodas, but I might, I might have to get that four. Just, I think that looks really cool. I like it. The Prince Adam looks pretty cool as well. Uh, yeah, they all look they all look cool. I like the the look generally for soda pops, but uh, yeah, not for me, not for me, not all of them anyway. Funko, including Kaboom, Thor, Harley Quinn with mallet, Webster, and the newest Webster. Master of the Universe okay. line, Prince Adam. That is such that is such a bad chase. It's just a it's just a metallic version. Like the other, I mean, the Harley one was terrible as well. It was just a darker version of it, but like. Come on, guys. You could have gone with... Uh, they could have made him blue and it was um, Faker. That would have been great. That would have been so cool. Oh, he had a beautiful singing voice. Flair for fashion. What else is there? <laughs> okay, we're going to take a short oh, commercial break and be right back. After so, are they making the the German sportsman gay or something? Is that is that going to be a, the joke? Hey, hey, what's up? Fanatics is Larry from the SCS guys. Uh, uh, hello. Cheese on the Funko Forum and Instagram. I uh, just wanted to do a quick shout out to all my friends in the United Funko family and the Nerds Unite Network. I miss you guys. Hope to see everybody soon. Okay. Okay, bye. Cool. Bye. Hi, you guys. Lauren to here from Washington State, otherwise known as Lulu Wetland. I like that sound for the display. Top Funko photos. I love this community. I love sharing in our art and our passion for... I'm trying to find, I'm trying to see if there's a Luna Love good anywhere. I'm collecting you guys. I can't see hey a Luna Love good, unfortunately. Mary, aka Softster on Instagram. Just wanted to give a huge shout out to my little brother, Jay. He's the one who introduced me to this wonderful world of Funko. My favorite part about collecting is not only the nostalgia it brings me from my childhood, but also all the wonderful people I've met throughout the years because of it. I will like say, like, the Funko community is one of the better Please ones when it comes to toy collecting. Like, I, Marvel Legends and, and uh, Black Look Series communities are phenomenal. I love them. Same Transformers okay. community. Uh, Pop, like, they are really are. accepting of however you Slayer. like to use the figures. Like, and, you like, your, your personal and grails, anything like that. Gator. You also have 300. Okay, Franz, it's your board. One last thing, Bran. Did I mention Prince Adam had golden flowing hair? We don't care. I wonder what shampoo he uses. <laughs> Are they at, is that actually the joke? Is the joke that he's being like weirdly I mean, like homo -ro romantic or something? For 200, please. Are they, are they actually just making a joke okay. out of... Oh, yes, whatever, I don't care. First video clue it, it's a dumb, Let's go it's a dumb promotional ca campaign, essentially. It's a oh, it's Crash. Name this video game series premiering Crash. in 1996. Crash Bandicoot. That's, that's pretty obvious. Chester Cheetah. No. Chester... Oh, whatever. Bronx. Crash Bandicoot. There we go. popular in German land. I often played it as a lad in Heidelberg. I, I, I will allow that because technically it's German land. This is the direct translation, Deutschland. Uh, I'll, get, I'll, give, them, I'll give them that as a dumb joke. And a new pop from Funko. It's not exactly a great You're in control. Uh, outfit, is it? <laughs> for 100, please. What lifestyle brand gets its name from the Japanese word sometime? Into Okidoki or Tokidoki. I hope I'm not making a lark of this contest, 
by answering this in an expeditious fashion. But the correct answer is Toki Doki. It is Toki Doki, yeah. I Let's like the, uh, I like some of the other pops that I've done. Toki Doki pop oh, I like the one on the left. Pick up both Sandy and Carmelo. I like the Sandy. Oh, I, that, I might get that one. I suppose it's pretty nice. I like Slater, it. You're in the lead. I'm not huge on Choose on most of them. There's, there's um, oh, it's Cactus something that has like a, a guitar what and stuff. Very cool one. Character has a quirk that gives him the attributes and it's like uh, of a killer witch. Oh, I only watched this recently. Front. Gang Orca. I just Gang, saw yeah, Gang the Orca. There we go. The show. Correct. I, I was thinking Orca Check something. Let's go the wrong way around. My hero Academia pops, including Fat Gum. And Gang Orca coming I don't recognize Fagum at all. Like, <laughs> I've only control. I've only started rewatching yeah, recently. I don't I don't recognize Fagum at all. For 300, Brian. This Jedi Master was a former scavenger on the planet. She's not a Jedi Yaku. Master, but it's Ray. Bronze. Oscar. Wrong again. <laughs> Slater. Jawa. What? Gator. You're talking about my hero. That's Ray from Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, you got Ray it. is no, but surely Ray is nobody's hero. Introducing the brand new Star Wars. Oh, that's Ray, an Imperial Commando. Commando. Yeah, Imperial Commando. Yeah. By Funko. That's cool. Wow. I like that. Now that's I might get the Imperial Commando. Now, that does look really nice. A special surprise message for our studio audience. All of today's studio audience members are sure to catch them all as they will receive both of these new Pokemon Pops from Funko, Bulbasaur cool. and Squirtle. And new from Funko, Marvel Battle World Are they on to uh, Gen 4 yeah, for Pokemon? I don't really keep up with them, but so I'm waiting for a Chimchar. With a stealth armor, Iron Man hero mover. What on earth is this? Back to you, Brian. A Secret okay. War Battle World's like ongoing, isn't it? quick tally here. France? I, don't, I, I haven't been reading that specific comic Slater, line. I've been reading more. Oh, I've been and reading Venom verse, and I've been reading um, with the Zero time. Point comics, the Batman, Batman Fortnite stuff. Lip, uh. Okay, this makes it interesting. The hmm. next person to answer this question correctly will win. If wow. no one gets the question right, Slater, you will become our new champion. Do you understand what's at stake here, gentlemen? Yes, I do. Are you ready? Yes. As you know, there is only one question left on the board. With the championship on the line. And it's an anime and more. Who was the eye patch wearing anime? Slater. Captain Harlock. No. Who was the eye patch wearing animated secret agent mouse from the 1980s? Danger Mouse, right? British cartoon. Something that I'm very well versed in because my dad loves it, but surely that that's Front correct, right? For the win? Bazooka Joe. No. Is that another Gator. American reference I just don't Any get? What's here? Bazooka Joe? If not, your long lost brother Slater will be our new champion. It's Danger Mouse, right? Gator? Danger Mouse is an iPad an from the eighties. Yeah, I don't I don't see how it could be. Any of her, uh... Gator, we need an answer. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> oh, here's Danger Mouse, okay. Danger Mouse is great. That's in the theme, the theme for Danger Mouse. Hey, I don't I don't remember watching over. much I'm Danger Mouse. Star Trek. But I was watching Danger Mouse. Not I feel like Star Trek's a bit too, um... Yeah. Too smart of a show for someone that's like show you, shown Peter. to be show an idiot. I feel like mouse. Star Trek has a is a bit. Gator, we need an answer. Danger it mouse. was a British animated television series. It, it debuted in 1981. Danger the mouse. Answer is danger. Oh, is, he, is he about to just give Slater the win? Danger is... Danger is being a stranger. Was that a reference to something else? 
Looks like we have a new champion. Dangerous being a mother. Johnson is our new champion. Well, there we go. The correct answer here was. Wait, Danger wait, does that mean we're getting Danger Mouse pops? As seen here in the new pop by Funko. Oh, that's cool. Does it just kind of in scale as well? As like, it's the, the head being big is really an issue. Besides the Danger Mouse pop, Slater will receive a $5,000 shopping spree to Funko Hollywood. Ah. You go, brother. You go. And the ultimate prize, a trip for two to Funko Fun Day. <laughs> I love the uh, I love I the uh, just how <laughs> exaggerated it is. Most delightful. Would you? <laughs> he's turned. He's, he's he's yeah. <laughs> oh Earl. Care to join your brother on a little adventure? Just like old this time. is so weirdly done. I'd love to, champ. I'd love to. Now come on, brother. How were they supposed to be brothers? Like honestly, they're completely different people. <laughs> well, I guess this uh, episode will get good ratings. We don't need them, Prince Adam. Oh my Let's god! Go. Oh my god! We'll see you next time on. Oh, was, oh, was the dog broken into the uh, the one of one? Yeah. Oh my! Oh no! Are they being like self-aware about it? Cause like, there's a Man, lot of uh, there's a lot of memes on, but especially like the Reddit, uh, the re Wait, about like yeah. how no. some of them can just Wait. look a lot like um, chew toys. Why? Oh wow! He actually tore the body off it. Oh wow! Okay. You know what? It's better like that. <laughs> wow. Um. Cool. It's it's a Tudor pop. Very nice. Is that is that it? Okay. Um. Well, <laughs> on that note, that was um. Potentially the worst twenty odd minutes of my life. Um. I I liked some of the uh, reveals. I think the biggest thing for me ended up being um. Oh, uh, it was the Star Wars, the um, Imperial Commando. I, I, don't, I won't be able to find it, I don't think. But, like, Danger Mouse is cool. I might get one of those for my, for my dad, because he does, he does like Danger Mouse quite a lot. He has a lot of uh, Danger Mouse merchandise. It looks really good. Like, I think the big head for something like Danger Mouse, where they kind of do have a big head anyway, it works pretty well. It's not as exaggerated as with a lot of characters. Like, the main reason I stopped properly collecting pops was because, like, I was I just realized, like, if I want a figure of a lot of the characters I was getting, I was better off getting um, things like, you know, Black Series, Legends, um, you know, any number of other things. Toy Box is really good. Um, SH Figure Arts, all those things, like, for me, are so much better for the kinds of characters that I was getting, which was Marvel. It was mostly Marvel and um, Star Wars characters, the vast majority. So it's just like, the, when there's action figures that are so much more detailed and so much uh, better, and usually I can find them for the same price. You know, it's I'm rambling a bit, but like, yeah. I, I, I like I like Funko enough. I do have a few on display. I have uh, Venom and um, Venom Paul, both on display, and... Uh, I'm trying to think of others. I do have a few. I have um, multiple Luna Love Goods, um, Negasonic Teenage Warhead, like just a, a multitude of just various characters that I like. I do, so I, I do display them. I have uh, Optimus Prime from the Bayverse. Like, I don't know. I do like a lot of these. I want to look. What was the. Uh, there we go. That's what I was looking for. So it's a. What is it? A Cobra drone or something i'm not familiar with gi joe that heavily like i know some of the main characters and obviously i know i know like a lot of the villains um i suppose this is probably a later addition to the show which i never watched uh we had action man in the uk um same it's the same toy line but it was a completely different show uh interesting i do really like shockwave 
Um, Soundwave is forever going, like going to be my Transformer, but like, I'm I'm a fan of Shockwave. Shockwave's cool. I I do I actually have like more figures of Shockwave than I do of Soundwave, just because it's just how it's worked out. Um, wouldn't help as well when I was little, when I was first like getting into like Transformers and stuff. I very much did not understand the difference between them because they're both, you know, bluey purple robots. Like, with Wave in the name. Like, to me, they were the same character. Um, but yeah, very cool. I I'd, I'd, I think I would have rather it have been just, like, more more of just people just stare, looking into a camera just, just, just talking about things. Kind of like how... Um, McFarlane do their like announcements where it's just like it's just people like this just talking to a camera with an image that comes up of a new pop or whatever. I think I'd have rather that than this weird, you know, game show thing. But in any case, it like the reveals have been good. I'm trying, I'm trying to just find land on something. Like generally, like you know, uh, Orca Gang or Gang Orca, whatever. <laughs> I can't remember which way around it is. Um. You know, very good pop, very good characters to have in pop form and stuff. Once again, that is a figure that, like, the proportions actually don't affect it too heavily from what he looks like in the uh, in the anime. So, you know, I'm, I'm happy with these. But um, on that note, I think I'm going to leave it there. So thanks for watching, like, subscribe, all that jazz, and I'll see you next time. Bye!